up, fellow nerds, and welcome to Not Your Status Quo. We're here at the theater, and we're ready to see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. You guys in, ready? In. 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 Yeah, don't pull a Keith. Do not say in the Multiverse of Madness. What are you expecting? I mean, I'm pretty fired up. I'm always pretty fired up. Yes. Movie night in the MCU is always good, most of the time. Most, yeah, and, well, uh, most you of know, the time. We got yeah. Sam Raimi directing. You know, we got the multiverse expanding, you know, they're building up phase four, we're getting to a point where we're getting the big bad villain, hopefully Kang at some point, I don't think he'll show up here, but they're building towards it. I am and so happy we've got the multiverse, aren't you, Dave? No. 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 <laughs> well, maybe they'll wrap that up, I don't know, but me, as far as I go, I'm expecting something on the long lines of Spider-Man. I'm, I'm okay. pretty pumped about it, I think it'll be that good. Now, we put out the Theory Palooza of a lot of things. We did this during our Twitch stream, which you guys should check out. Uh, we do every this like Sunday. every Sunday, Monday. You know, just keep an eye on our social media. We'll let you know when we're going to do it. But we did a Theory Palooza on Doctor Strange. Uh, what do you think? Are we 100% correct? Are we right I about mean, it? We always are. We so always are? We're definitely 100% right. All right. And, but we need to see. Let's so go. Let's go. So we head in, come yeah, back go. out. We'll let you guys know. We'll be back in a minute. All right. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. We're back. We're back. Did you get everything you wanted? Uh, you know what? I actually got more than what I expected. So yeah, I, I got the number one combo. I, uh, I got the, the large popcorn <laughs> and the drink. So I actually, uh, going into this, I I was thinking, uh, I don't know, it's probably going to be like a, a CG, you know, uh, just a mess. And I'm thinking, I'm probably not going to, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be an MC movie. And. At the end of the day, it's going to be better than Morbius. So is it? That it's was gotta be. That, that was my thought. I was I was thinking, it's probably going to be better better than Morbius, and that's all that I can really expect. Um, what I came out of in seeing the movie is I really enjoyed it. I dug it. This is probably one of my new top movies. Doug dug it. I did. You did. I really did. Doug dug this. I, now I I generally I lean more towards Dave usually when it comes to like I'm never as hyped as Keith. When it comes to these these movies, but this one, like I was surprised. You know, and you know what I think mostly what it is, and uh, just very minor spoiler. But if you know anything about Sam Raimi, he is first and foremost he's a horror director, okay? And they had a ton of those elements in this movie, and I ate it up. I loved it. You know, it was nice. Like Sam, you could. This was a Sam Raimi film. Oh, through this was through. not pushed by Marvel or anyone else to change things up. You could tell Sam Raimi directed it. But you could also tell Danny Elfman did the score. It was seriously like catching up with an old friend and not missing a beat. I really enjoyed that. I was I was like, oh, it's sort of familiar, but it's different also. And I really enjoyed the fact that it was a Sam Raimi film. We oh, had yeah. Danny Elfman's score. The beginning of the film, I was kind of like, uh, not so sure about this. I thought the CGI, I was like, I'm not sure if this is going the right way. But by the end of the film, mm -hmm. I mean, probably about 45 minutes in, I was pulled in. And I was like, this is exactly what we need. Did you notice that the two main characters entered the movie in the same way? I'm not going to spoil it, but did you, know, did you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I caught that too. But overall, with me, I don't, I don't want to explain too much. We'll, I'm sure we'll talk about this on the... Uh, Twitch live on Monday at eight o'clock, but um, on a Doug scale, okay, on a Doug scale, where I would five give is it, average. Where five is average, I would give it a seven. A seven, all right. See, with that, I would, I would probably because I enjoyed the score so much, because I enjoyed the horror elements. I mean, I usually bring my kids to see these movies the weekend after this. I will definitely not be bringing my five, six year old. No way. They. It went. It was the goriest MCU movie to date. Yep. Oh man! And I enjoyed A little that. shocking. I was I was kind of yeah. happy they went that way because I thought this movie needed it. And like I said at the beginning, I was a little hesitant. I thought there was some sort of sketchy CGI, but then hearing the elephant score, seeing the cameos that we did get, you're going to be a little disappointed if you expect to see every cameo in the world. But the ones we got, I think they did well and it worked. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. we got Bruce Campbell. Of course, that for me? but we knew to expect that. Yeah, we knew to expect that. <laughs> and I would definitely, on the Doug scale of five being average, I'd definitely give it an eight. And it's one of those movies, I can't wait to watch it again and again to see if I continue to enjoy it. Oh. Because sometimes you can sit in the theater and be like, that was great. But then when you watch it again, it's like, eh, it kind of lost its magic because you know it. But I think this is going to be one that I'll be, it'll stand the test of time. And I'm looking forward to, you know, watching, seeing it again 
without my kids. Yeah. And then when it comes out on, you know, Blu-ray and everything. That's one of the things that like kind of disappointed me about it is that it wasn't really, me and Doug were kind of talking about this, it wasn't really layered so that you could watch it a million times and see things that you missed. You know, it was kind of uh, straightforward, which, you know, like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say it's always bad because look at Star Wars, very simple premise. This movie had a very simple premise and um, it's just I don't think you're going to have to go back and search for clues when you go back for it next time. You just have to watch it because you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. All no, right, Doug, uh, I, uh, I, I would rewatch it for sure. And I've, I was actually already thinking, like, the first thing that I want to do, as soon as I'm able to get it on streaming or Blu-ray or whatever, I want to go through, there was a scene where, I kid you not, it is just like um, the, uh, the Spider-Verse, where they're traveling through multiple dimensions, it's a multiverse, to be expected, and it was just as crazy as that scene where we're seeing different, like, as they're traveling through the, uh, the multiverse, they're changing. Yeah. into different versions of and it was awesome and i actually want to slow it down and i want to really take in each one of these different universes i want to look for those background characters look for the easter eggs because i think that would be fun uh now as far as what you had mentioned about the oh what one of those universes really oh. reminded me of the very first episode of south park okay if you know what i'm talking about well with the paper i like to sing i like to you know what i'm saying okay no. i've never seen south park. you ever seen south park all right. The first one where Eric Cartman had the, uh, you know, anal pole. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, it's what the alien switch him on and he starts doing a sing song and dance. <laughs> yeah. One of those multiverse scenes kind of did that. It's, I'm there not going to ruin it for you. Yeah. There was definitely a lot of them. Um, now, as far as what uh, Keith had said, uh, the beginning for me, um, I was okay with it. Uh, again, I was worried that it would be too much CG. Um, and then it got into like, you know, a little bit more grounded, a little normal, and I'm like, oh, all right, they're bringing us back in, reeling us in, if you will, if I may borrow that. And I was you like, just uh, pump the brakes. I could, I could, but it wasn't a full pump, you know, just slowly, slowly reeling us back in. And, and then it took off into insanity. And I literally can't say much else without giving away spoilers. And I don't want to do that. You have to go see it. So. On the Doug scale, with five being average, I am going to rate this, and I'm going to probably surprise the both of you, an 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. I gotta, I gotta rate it that high because this is probably one of my, gotta be one of my favorite Phase Four movies. It's right up there to me with No Way Home. It was definitely you know, fun to watch. A lot of oh, like No Way Home. Yeah, Doug doesn't normally go that high either. Yeah, no. That's like groundbreaking. Yeah. No, but there was several times in the theater where I was just like, oh shit. Did that really just happen? <laughs> and, and I really think it's important when you're kind of talking about it before we came on camera, you really need to see WandaVision oh. to really get the full scope of the plot here. Yeah. So yeah. if you haven't seen it, if you've seen it, you kind of know, you're good. If you want to watch it again, it might not be a bad idea. Uh, definitely a good idea. I love the fact that they didn't just have this kind of a standalone thing. They brought Wanda in and explains a lot. It, they really took off from where WandaVision ended and where they're going. So another reason why I kind of the serial storytelling of the MCU, they're continuing down that vein. And I just, I love the fact. Oh, yeah. And then I think we also have to mention there are two post credit scenes. Well, a mid credit scene and a post credit scene. Much better uh, than the Morbius scenes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, so much better. Oh, and the last one. The last one is just definitely just, ready for that one. Mm, yes, beautiful. the post credit scene is probably the best post credit scene in the history of the MCU. It Thank you, perfection. Sam Raimi. I love you. <laughs> but that's what we thought if you guys see it this weekend you can add us at twitter leave a comment down below and we will see you next time on not your status quo <laughs> where'd keith go uh, who are you oh. uh, i'm keith from the 616 all right so uh, you actually like good movies now <laughs> <laughs> yeah like the batman that is a good <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs>